talking about watchfulness, uh, how can we define this concept? You know, th what does that mean? Like, does it mean th that we can see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And how does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala see us? That can make some people paranoid. Bismillah um, uh, al First of all, uh, the, the best definition is the, the definition the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave. Uh, when uh, in, in the long hadith, when uh, Jibreel alayhi salam, he comes down, he asks the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what is Islam? And he defines it in Iman, and then he yeah. asks about Ihsan. Is this the, the long hadith when Jibreel came uh, as a man? Yes, he came and as a man. And the Sahaba were sitting around the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Yes, exactly that. Mm -hmm. uh, Jibreel alayhi salam, he, he came as a man. And he came uh, as if uh, he was one of the companions. Uh, and, uh, and he came and he sat down and then he started to ask the question, uh, questions. And he asked the Prophet Sallallahu about Islam. <laughs> and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he told him that Islam, and then he said the five pillars. And then Iman, he told him the six pillars of Iman, uh, uh, the, the Iman, the belief in Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and the angels and the books and the prophets uh, and the day of judgment and uh, the preordained, uh, the good and the bad of it. And then uh, he asked him about Ihsan. And then the Prophet ﷺ told him, Ihsan is uh, that you worship Allah as if you see him. Uh, and if you do not see him, know that he sees you. Hmm. Uh, this is Ihsan. And if we see with the hadith, it's as if it's going up in levels. Yeah. It starts off with the uh, Islam, which is the basic Islam, which is uh, what you need to get into Jannah. And then after that, you're raising up your levels. Mm -hmm. up, And this is higher than Iman. This came Ihsan is higher. Uh, uh, and this is this. I think this is the easiest definition of so we're really talking. We're really when we say the word watchfulness, we're really talking about the epitome of of worshiping Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Uh, exactly, but the, the, it's the epitome because it's the manifestation of all the names and attributes. Mm. Uh, this is you really living with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Al Muraqaba, uh, which is watchfulness. Uh, if you have that, then you. Uh, live you manifest the name for example you want to do you want to look at something bad and then you think al basir the all seeing mm. so uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees me so i'm not going to do this you want to say something bad al samia he hears everything uh, al alim he knows what's in my heart uh, uh, all of these things you feel all of these things all of these manifestation of all of the things come through uh, al muraqab once you know that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the all knowing in uh, allah la yakhfa alayhi shay in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, Nothing is, Nothing is hidden from, from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Nothing. يعني ونحن أقرب إليه من حبل الوريد. We are closer to him than his jugular vein. Mm. The jugular vein, and it's very, very. Uh, uh, nothing is um, is by accident in the Quran. When a jugular vein is what connects to the heart, it's yeah. what sends the blood to the heart. So, just like Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is closer, the the blood. يعني this is once this is cut off, there isn't that you're dead. Mm. And it's the same thing. The Muraqab is the same thing. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala knows everything that you do all the time. Uh, like you were saying, some people would look at this because that we've been uh, tailored and molded into uh, thinking Big Brother and 1984 yes. and everyone who's ever watching over you, this uh, they're trying to get at you. But there's another side to this. This is a no much more beautiful side to this. That at the same time, Allah Taala does this to protect you. He watches over you and you know that if you're hurt, that Allah Taala saw this and he will get your rights back. Allah Taala. Uh, he watches over you, and then when you open the door, this is by the blessing of Allah SWT. Mm. The atoms work because Allah SWT ordered them to work. And this is part of Al Muraqaba because Allah SWT, Al Basir, Al Samiyah, he sees everything so he knows uh, that the door will work and he orders it to work. It could fall off, it doesn't fall off. And your car works because Allah SWT is uh, watching over you. So uh, the beauty of Allah SWT and uh, the thing that distinguishes him is that even though he is controlling, he is you feel it gives you space. And this is something which is unique to Allah SWT. Mm. Uh, whenever if you have a manager in a company, and uh, for example, and this is to Allah SWT is the, the highest example, examples. but uh, in a manager, he's, he either micromanages where he's right on top of you, or he relaxes and he lets it loose and you can do whatever you want. Yeah. Allah SWT is both. Allah SWT micromanages, if that's a term we can use any, micromanages, and everything it works only because Allah SWT orders, orders it to work. And at the same time, he gives you the space so that you can make your choices. Both of them work, and this is the the beauty uh, of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. That's that, that's what makes him Allah. Hmm. There is a, there's nothing like him.